hello, and welcome back as our crew gets ready to go out and do what they do best. Kill more in XCOM War of the Chosen. Pete, I can't help but notice that you have Simon Magus here, a.k.a. Simon Templar, a.k.a. Augustus Kristen, a.k.a. Bureau von Duderhost, or whatever that. You know what? The names were all made up in the saint. I can't help but notice that that and a very weak Val Kilmer pun are what you're going for here, Pete. Is that the theme for this run? Is everybody just a clone of Val Kilmer? Well, I mean, sort of. We've got Ice, Iceman, Man. We've got uh, old Chris, Genius Knight. And yes, admittedly, the the names, the nicknames are wrong. Like, this is definitely going to be Simon Templar Magus. Once we unlock the ability to nickname our troopers, is that going to be the... Th yeah, everybody's Val Kilmer, actually. All of them. It's going to be the, the whole run. Everybody's Come Val on. Kilmer. That's what we're doing this time. Good to see you on your feet again. I hope you're ready for some Welcome Val Kilmer jokes. Me? I no can't wait to rip operation. into Thunderheart. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. That's okay, Advent Bradford. We've got everything. an entire army of Val Kilmers ready here. I'm going to be his to wingman, and together military. we're going to single-handedly defeat the Russians. Take it all back. Advent stands Resources no chance. Time tight, With Commander. just one loyal we'll wingman, Iceman single-handedly won forward. the Cold War. The what do you think we're going to do to aliens? We're going to obliterate them. I've got an army of Val Kilmers. I cannot be stopped. Five days we could get some rookies. I'm going to say not now to that. Resistance faction located. Okay, so our first faction is appropriately the Templars, because, you know, I am Simon Templar. It seems like I'd be natural allies. We can recruit an engineer in the covert actions ring, which we can't do because we actually don't have a covert action. What do we get? Trial by fire and hidden reserves are our first. Okay. There's the Reapers. And here come skirmishers. All right, you guys are all discovered then. Let's back this out. I'm glad you guys are having fun. In the meantime, we don't have an engineer, so can we build? We should start building something. What should we begin to build? We can build a facility here. A resistance ring would be good. Training center, you know, we kind of don't necessarily need that right off the bat. Laboratory, no good. Guerrilla tactics school. Ultimately, I think we'll get around to building one, but right now we probably don't need it. Let's start off by building a resistance ring. Well, when I mean, we can't even clear alien debris, though. Does this require an engineer to staff it? I think we do need to staff this. I'd love to put a staffing gremlin in it, but we need the resistance ring built as quickly as possible. We're going to play smart this campaign. No GTS facility. We're going to ultimately need it for squad size upgrades, but we got to get some guys to rank up first. We've got a little time. We don't even have an engineer yet. So we're we're going to get what we can get to start getting advantages, start doing covert ops. That'll help us get a little early EXP as well. And in the meantime, I guess we'll just go research this abandoned colony because we have literally no other option. But hey, some new rookies for us. More vowels for the kill more pile keep calling him Val Kilmore. Yeah, but you know, I just feel like his parents missed a golden opportunity there. His name's Val Kilmer. They could have switched it. Just They could have actually made his name Val Kilmore. I suppose some of that's on him. He's of legal age. He could have changed it by now. And when I say legally changed his name, what I actually mean is he could have corrected the oversight by now. So we've got nanoscale, vests available, plated armor available. I don't want to build any of those things. I'm tempted to just go straight into weapons but we can't do that data pad decryption no need to do that alien biotech is interesting i think we have to research modular weapons to unlock mag weapons that's what we're going for damage output is going to be a little light for our team since we have basically just pistols to start with we got pistols and melee that's what we got we're gonna have to find a way to make it work all right sarah jawa here and charlie young welcome to the team you guys are going to be swiftly fired was that dude wearing a guy fox mask Hmm, I'm pretty sure he was wearing a Guy Fox mask. And now I'm thinking about what if instead of Agent Smith as the role of V for Vendetta, what if instead of Hugo Weaving in V for Vendetta, it had been Val Kilmer? Val Kilmer as V? I think it's a better movie. Nothing against, you know, Hugo Weaving. I love the man. But Val Kilmer instead, it's just so much better. 
Power relay construction. We could research how to build power relays faster and spend five days doing that. I'm going to say no to that, as tempting as that offer sounds. We're going to go straight for alien biotech here. Yeah, whatever. Can I get a mission wherein I get an engineer, though? That'd be great. We've got our first guerrilla operation. This damn well better have an engineer. All right, Susanna Sidorova, engineer. Fantastic, that's what we need. An easy mission, which is also kind of what we need. We're still getting our feet under us here. We've got the Kilmers, they've got the combat experience, but we gotta figure out how this uh, campaign, how this little run is gonna work. Gerard, I appreciate your gung-ho attitude, but I can't help but notice that you are not Val Kilmer, and therefore you are kicked off the team because this, this crew features exclusively Val Kilmers. How come we can carry grenades? I guess Templars come with the ability to carry. I, guess, I forgot about that. So we're going to have Simon Magus. Give me a little bit of Bruce Wayne. There we go. I mean, Iceman, Chris Knight from Real Genius, Simon Templar, the Templar himself, and fucking Batman. This is our team. How could we possibly go wrong with this? It's a beautiful cadre. These men are glorious. Let's go. We're gonna have Chris Knight drop in and with his scientific real genius genius, make everybody a bunch of popcorn, lure Advent into a false sense of complacency while Val Kilmer puts on a bad wig, adopts a fake accent and goes and takes him for coffee. In, I'd like to point out an airport so that they have to walk through the metal detectors. Everybody knows it's safe. In the meantime, Batman sits up in the rosters ready with a bunch of batarangs. And finally, Iceman flies in on the outside and drops a Sidewinder missile into the facility, killing everyone. Advent doesn't stand a chance. Operation Ice Walker. It's fortunate that we have Iceman on our team. Who can walk across the ice better than the Iceman? He can be my wingman anytime. Mostly I want Ice, you know, I don't know if I want to be Iceman's wingman at any time, because I'm thinking about what happened. Also, I installed numeric health totals, by the way, between uh, episodes. Did some customization stuff, too. Uh, it's basically our standard mod list. We've unlocked some additional customization options so I can try and make people look as much like the characters they portrayed in the movie as possible. And then numeric health totals, because I'm real, real tired of counting pips a lot. I really dislike that. So we got to go... We have seven turns to go download data. This is going to be surprisingly difficult with our all Kilmer team. So it is decided. We do have four troopers who can each run in and with their fist basically generate four damage. So if we can find an isolated pod, we could just have three guys run in and kill everyone. It's not a terrible idea. Send in three Kilmers and Kilmer them all. Uh, well, one of them has eight health, though. But they were foolish enough to stand next to something that we can definitely explode. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever. Yeah, stronger than ever, but what if I do that, though? Six damage? I can't really see what I'm hitting. Let me flip that. Well, that's a one-shot kill guaranteed on that Advent Trooper. We're not going to get any closer than this, so we should have our furthest... Or, alternatively... Curses need to be one tile closer. Do we have somebody that can throw a grenade and detonate that tank? We do. Iceman is ice cold, lights out, do it. We get grenade damage against the Sectoid, and the explosion will definitely kill that Advent Trooper. Case in point, we did destroy some loot, but we don't care about loot. This is one campaign we're destroying loot. It doesn't matter at all. We can blow all of it away. Loot does nothing for us. We can't use it. Chris Knight, give in there and give this man a shock with your shock prod. This does ridiculous damage to sectoids because they're in weak to melee. He got some like a fish. Gaining plus one focus in the interim. And we got to remember, we do have focus abilities. We can use Volt now. So let's carefully advance because we do have to get to the objective, but we don't want to spawn another pod and we are no longer concealed. What if we come over to this door? A momentum move? Seems safe. 
Can anybody get to the other side? We're setting up here for like a Batman style door kicking. Nobody loves kicking in a door quite like the bat. Simon Magus get on top. It really feels like we should try and keep everybody, especially on this team, we need to keep everybody as close together as possible. Batman, do your thing. Storm in. Bam! Here I am, the bat! Well, I mean, not really that impressive so far. As you order. Any bad guys in here, Batman? It amazes that no one ever questioned how these factories work. Meat comes out, but you don't see any livestock going in, do you? Well, I mean, I see people go in a factory every day, Bradford. Aren't they a variety of livestock? Pretty sure people count. I've played Stellaris. I know that you can livestock civilians. It's just a, it's a thing that uh, polite and civilized societies do. Gotta get that, uh, <laughs> beef's expensive, Bradford. You gotta, we're in a tighten the belt. You know, the economy's not so great right now. We gotta kind of, like, watch our budget a little bit. Well, that's a really unusual entrance location, but you are a master thief, Simon Templar. Who am I to judge when it comes to penetrating Russian safes and stealing cryptic computer chips? You know more than me. I really don't want to spawn a pod here with our first move. What if we kind of slow play this and just sort of creep in? First man in sees nothing. I'm a little concerned about going around behind here because, again, there's almost got to be a pod in here, though, right? It's not going to be empty. Iceman diving through a plate glass window. You know, Iceman, this is your, your cavalier disregard for the rules is how people got hurt. If you recall, a man flew through your jet wash. Uh, you know, a man died, and it was largely your fault. And I can't help but think if you'd been adhering to the rules just a little more closely, that never would have happened. Somebody's getting overwatched. Bruce Wayne putting that sidearm to work. This is why Batman doesn't use guns, folks, right here. He just, he's no good with them. It's not because he's got some kind of ethical code. It's, it's none of that. He's just like, man, I'm a terrible shot. Just stick to throwing boomerangs and stuff. I'm working on it, John. We got two guys in here. We need to generate kills. Anybody who can do four damage for us here can generate a kill, and we should be trying to make some focus whenever possible. So let's go rend this man. This is a slam dunk kill. Can't fail. You're dead. We've gained some focus. Simon Magus powers up. He does have his momentum move. We're going to save that in case we need it. In the meantime, Bruce Wayne... The whole taking a shot with the pistol didn't really work out for you, Bruce. Let's see if good old-fashioned fist of cuts treats the bat any better. This is why Batman does not use guns. Just be like, nah, I, I should just stick to punching muggers. Play to your strengths. That's uh, that's the old adage, right? They say do you know do what you're good at. When you've got a stick, you got to stick to it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, why don't you uh, go activate it? Of the exposed access point. Well, there's nobody better to hack it than Chris Knight. For the calls. He could hack that guy's teeth in Real Genius and make him believe he was talking to God. There's no reason he can't hack that thing. The mobility of this team is actually quite shocking. They're really fast as a group. These momentum moves make them... They, they got a real kind of rope-a-dope sort of stick-and-move thing happening here. Got two enemies coming in. We got some Overwatch. At least one shot. Somebody is going to have to hack the thing, which is going to take a turn. Iceman, do it. He's no good. No, nah, we're no good with the guns. Iceman is used to firing the auto cannon on a plane. He doesn't know how to use a pistol. It's beyond his skill set. So who has a point of juice? You have a point of juice. We can rend either of these targets. Your rend guaranteed kills that man. So I think probably your best move, let's just do that. Get rent. 
Having the bonus melee vulnerability here has been enormously helpful for us. Simon Meg is picking up his second point of focus. That's two kills for our bro. Bruce Wayne has a kill. Chris Knight has a kill. Iceman does not yet have a kill. All right, Iceman, go and ice this man. Don't make it just a clever nickname. He's done it. Iced him. Iceman also picking up on much deserved promotion. And in the meantime, old Chris Knight here, he's going to get the hack in. And we're good. We're golden. Team Kilmer has gone in and killed everything there is to kill. We will never get a hack reward ever, though. It just won't happen. Oh, where was your genius on that one, real genius? Huh? What's Mitch going to do now? He's got to face sophomore year without his mentor. Unacceptable, sir. Unacceptable. You put a big giant plate of popcorn in the professor's house and didn't have a giant space laser to cook it? That's just bad mission planning right there. We definitely have to take a mission photo of all... Look at look at this. There is so much Val Kilmer. There is so much Kilmer in this shot. This is the valiance of Val. No, we gotta get... Like, we gotta frame this shot properly. Zoom out. So much Kilmer. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting it. Okay, let's cut out the fact that Chris Knight is foolishly wearing shorts after Labor Day. Tell them to pose near an Advent burger menu. For science, of course. You got it, Dr. Tigan. We'll definitely get them posing right in front of it. Val Kilmer stars this fall in Advent Burger coming to theaters Advent near you. He does a lot of indie stuff. You know, you could probably get Val Kilmer to be in your Advent Burger movie. As long as it's got a great script with an intriguing story and you're doing something a little experimental, Kilmer seems like the kind of Hollywood Lothario you could get to come and be in that. You're like, hey Val, I'm doing this weird kind of, I don't know, it's pretty fringe. It's about this uh, man who works at a burger franchise after aliens have invaded the Earth and they turn humans into meat. It's a little unusual, but like, I need, uh, I don't want you to star, but I need you to be, it, it's not really a cami role either. You're like a third supporting character. Can you, uh, can you come in and kill me? be like, yeah, just, you know, sign me up. Aftershock. Target stuck by Volt will be easier to hit. Increasing our aim. That's not at all useful. Amplify. Mark a single target with a sonic lens, causing him to take an additional 33% damage from a number of future single target attacks. Amplify, I think, in the long run will likely be something we need. But early on, we're definitely just going to be, it's going to be parry, parry, parry. Across the board, everybody's first ability pickup is going to be the ability to parry. We need it. Advent Trooper Corpse, of course. Completed Sectoid Corpse in the rack. And Optimus Prime. I can't help but notice here, not ably played by the Commander. magnificent the Val Kilmer. Is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. Yeah, but have you seen the fact that our entire team is Val Kilmer, exception. though? Like all of it, it is good to the see whole thing is about Kilmer. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. No one's ever captured about Kilmer. He's undefeated. That provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. Uh huh. As of now, resistance forces are currently. Can we speed this up, man? I've got Val Kilmer waiting in the wings here. I really just want to kind of go get his autograph. You must change this. I got a headshot of Iceman playing volleyball. What like, the, you know the one where he's spinning the volleyball on his finger while they were wearing jean shorts on the beach for whatever reason? But I got uh, I got a still shot of that that kept it from the movie and then burned it out and put it in a really super high def and blew it up to wall poster size. I'm going to see if I can get Val Kilmer to sign it. I'm also going to see if I can get him to sign my Marlon Brando as... Dr. Moreau figure from the it's my Island of Dr. Moreau collectible, because that film wasn't a Titanic disaster. You know, Val Kilmer, though, not to blame for the Island of Dr. Moreau. He was actually the one bright spot in that movie. The rest of it was just an aging, bloated Marlon Brando mumbling. Oh, and Feruza Balk is a, like a cat, little cat girl. She was a cat girl. Contact the resistance in the Black Sight region. We have a new mission. That's fantastic. More importantly, Susanna Sidorova, engineer, who I am assuming is going to immediately fall deeply in love with one of our many Val Kilmers, because why wouldn't she? 
go ahead and start excavating here. Welcome to Project XCOM, as is standard operating procedure for brand new engineers. Here's your shovel. Get the work. And as is also standard operating procedures for new episodes of XCOM, I'm going to wrap this one up. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to see our army of Val Kilmers go out and kill like no one has ever killed before, you might consider subscribing as well. Post new episodes of XCOM every single day. The statesman took a big risk getting inside Advent. Enough for me to believe he's loyal to our cause. He might be loyal to the cause, but he's not played by Val Kilmer, John, so we can't trust him. We can't. There's only one man in this world that we trust, and his name is Val Kilmer. That's why he's our whole team. If you enjoyed the episode, you know what to do. Right now, though, thanks very much for watching. I'll... And, well, I and Val Kilmer in his various and sundry incarnations. See you again soon.